Now that the bottom of the bench is nice and smooth and flat, before I turn it over, I have a lot of things I need to do that I won't be able to do later on. So I've started to mark on the bottom of the bench where the legs are gonna go and all that kind of stuff and figuring out where the holes are gonna go in the bench because I don't wanna put any screws where I want those holes. So what I'm gonna do right now is I need to put some lag bolts right into the frame to connect these together. It's gonna to be a total of six of these. But the distance in this hole here is too narrow for me to get a drill in there. So I went ahead and took the chuck off my regular drill and put in the 90 degree angle. And it's that works, but I could not use a spade bit because the spade bit's just too long. So I'm going to attempt to use my Forstner bit, which does in fact fit in here. So I've never actually done a Forstner bit with a hand drill before, but I think it should work. Okay, so I have six holes that I want to drill. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I've already measured their locations, but with my awl, I just want to put a little hole to guide the bit. So I'll go ahead and mark those out now. Hmm. I'm start down here, baby. Boy, this is awkward. So I'm putting the point of the bit in the hole, trying to level it out. That should be far enough. That fits in nicely. Okay, next one. something you have to be careful about with these right angle drills is if it gets stuck or something you can very easily pop over to the side very quickly you can end up hitting yourself in the face if you're not careful okay so I'm gonna unplug her before I do anything else here so all I'm doing is these handles are reversible Just taking that out putting the bolt on the other side Got a square end so that it won't turn. And then tighten her down. Did I plug in? Nope. One more hole to go. Okay. So the next step is going to be to actually drill the holes. Well, I think I'm just gonna go straight off with the quarter inch bit. Just means it's gonna be tight. Towards the front and top of the bolt, but that's okay. I'm not sure this is going to go in far enough is going to be my concern now. That leaves an awful lot not tapped into. Hmm. Well, I might have to get some shorter bolts. I was wanting this bolt to go through, of course, this rail, but then two of the other boards. I didn't want it in just one board. 
So that's why I had it so long. But we'll see. Okay, I'm back from the hardware store. I'm happy to be lucky enough to live in an area that has four different hardware stores within a mile and a half. So, very easy for me to get stuff, as long as I got the money. <laughs> okay, so, I got shorter bolts, or screws, I should say, lag screws. And uh, this should work out okay. Three inches now, which means it goes about half an inch into the third board. So I'm going to take a seventh, eighth inch washer, and then I have some split lock lock. Ah, come on. Over here. Good. And we'll see how we do. I don't know whether I can use this yet or not. Nope, not yet. to do the last part by hand just so I don't strip and that is recessed awesome Many of you probably have never had to use one of these 90 degree things. They're relatively cheap to buy and they do come in handy. Of course, you can have a right angle 90 degree drill. It's a standalone, but I don't really use it that often. So to do this, this is the chuck that actually belongs to the drill. We've got a half inch nut there, which I'm gonna to use to hold that nice and still. I'm gonna put this right into the bit. This is where it gets a little bit ugly. And I'm simply gonna use brute force to hopefully loosen that so that I can unscrew it by hand. Yay. No. Did I do it or not? Nope, I didn't. Okay. So now that she's loose, and that, by the way, was counterclockwise. Now I've got to be able to take this one off as well. And this one just kind of screws on. But if you look at the drill, you'll see that there is a hole here. And that hole has to line up 
how do I turn this now? There we are. Okay. You might be able to see this. That hole lines up with that slot. And with that, I'm able to take an Allen wrench and put that in the hole. And now uh, this portion can't really turn. So now I'm just going to use my half inch wrench. And I never know which way to go. I would assume it would be the same way. So let me put it here. Just give it a little tap. That loosener? Nope. Let's give her a harder tap. She apparently is on there very tight. There we go. I think. Well, would you believe that? I just broke my drill. Which is going to make this even harder to get off. I should be able to still jam it against here. Not happy about that. And there she is. I think. Yep, she is. Okay. And now I can just do this with my fingers. I'm unscrewing this from the shaft of the drill. Okay. Hmm. I don't know whether I did that wrong or I'm just that strong. Okay, and on this one. Put this in again and hand tight is all that we need and we're back and business so that is how to use a 90 degree angle drill except for that part